Hi guys, Mayo speaking from FastCutTech.com again. So today I want to show you a new phone, the Kensing W9, the chip proof phone. What is called chip proof? It is that is dust proof and waterproof and also the shock proof. So here is the phone, you can see it is very large with the 6 inch screen. And today I also will compare my Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge with this one, the Kensington W9 in this video. So we will test the we will test the waterproof function in the later and also we will test GPS. So first of all I will show you the appearance about this phone. Okay, now we have the phone in my hands, the Kensinda W9. Uh, you can see the screen is very dark, very black, like a mirror in my hands. And of course, we have three keys at the button. The first one is the menu key, and the second one is, of course, the cone key, and the third one is the back button. On the top of this screen, we can see the Kensinda logo here, and we have the sensors, and we have a speaker, we have the app megapixel uh, from camera. And on the left side, we have the volume up key, volume down key, and here we have a reset button. On the top of this phone, we have... Okay, let's open this to check what we have. We have the micro USB cable, sorry, micro USB port, and here is the earphone port. And on the right side, we have the... It is a power key, power key, and what is this? Maybe it's a camera key, capture key. So on the button we have nothing. Okay, so on the back we have the real camera. It is a 13, it is a 13 megapixel uh, real camera. And here's the dual temper flashlight, LED flashlight. And here's the speaker. We also have the IP68 waterproof certification here. And of course you open this, you will see the dual SIM card slot and of course the micro SD card slot. So here's the Kensinda logo and shock resist label. So here's the phone appearance. So here's the phone specifications. This phone, the Kensinda W9 carries with the NTK C753 Auto Core processor and 2GB RAM and 16GB storage. And this phone also has the 6.0 inch screen, which is a little smaller than the Xiaomi Max. The resolution of this phone is FHD, which is same as Xiaomi Max. Okay, so here is the home page. On this operating system, we don't have the secondary menu. That's my favorite. Of course, we have the YouTube, we have Play Store, we have Gmail, we have Calendar, and we have Google Settings. That means we have the full Google service on this operating system. So, slide down, you can see the notification bar and the shortcuts of the features. And click aid, you can drag these shortcuts anywhere you want. So, go back, we also have the adjust brightness function and we also have the auto brightness function go back and long price ending icons of course you can drag it anywhere so here's the phone screen and let's go setting to check what we have okay so go apps we have real 2 gigabyte ram and 1.1 gigabyte ram free so go back again let's check language and input and we have almost all the language here. So, you can go to our website to check the language supported. So go back again, we can see this phone is carried with Android 5.1 Lollipop. Okay, now I'm using the Kensinda W9 real camera to recording videos. And I set the video format to FHD, and you can see the video is very clear and the color is very okay so also the focus function is very fast and on the screen you can click capture to capture photos and the green is of course green maybe it is a little warm and the phone doesn't have the slow motion or fast motion features like Samsung S7 but I think it is very satisfied on daily usage. So here is the front camera on Kensington W9. The front camera supports 
720 pixels video recording type, which is HD format, and it also supports HDR fast detection, fast beauty functions. In my opinion, I think the front camera is also pretty good, and the color is also very nice. Okay, I'm now testing the GPS functions on both phones, the Kensin W9 and the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. We can see on the screen that both phones have a very good GPS function. We have 20 satellites in view and 9 in use on the Kensin W9 and also we have 32 satellites in view and 24 satellites in use on Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So how about the waterproof function? Let's check. How about this? Okay, let's get it back. <笑>不用 Okay, the GPS function is still working.